so we'll first begin with uh, this image we've, we've got it from unsplash it's a nice sneaker image and uh, yeah we'll start with this i'll link this uh, the link of this for this image will be down in the description so let's start we'll just open and for now we're not going with so much of the resolution we'll just open the image directly and unlock the image the first things now to start off first things first we're going to go into filter and camera raw filter because we need this image to have some sort of a bit more of a uh, shine to it you know this looks very dull to, dull to me right now so we'll just go here and increase the exposure to something about this much we'll change the contrast as well you know have some contrast to it the blacks we will increase it to like a hundred the saturation you see if we do that the color does not look so good or the greatest so that's like not the greatest thing so i'm gonna keep the saturation to zero you know i like this color you know it's kind of like a forest green but not the darker one you know it's like a light forest green while if we do the saturation to 100 this goes basically green so we'll just make this back to zero and we're gonna is there anything else we need to this uh no i think this is it so we'll just click on okay and that saves it as you can see looks much more fresh now and not so dull now what we're gonna do is we are going to do the easy thing we're gonna go into select and over here we're going to select subject now photoshop is going to do all the work for you you just need to well okay not all the work but yes ha more than half the work is done we just need to go here i'm gonna go with the polygonal lasso tool you can select anything you want and we will press down the shift the left shift and as you can see a little plus icon appears there and we can just now select whatever we want and we're good to go I think so this looks good okay we need to also remove some things i'm gonna go with the lasso tool right now to remove this and this should do it i think so okay yeah this looks good over here i'm not gonna i'm going to give a bit of attention to detail now what we need to do is actually select this okay so to do that the best thing i would suggest we do okay let's just cover this things first you can drag this okay that selects it i'm gonna have to just select a few of this okay now we will again continue with that Like this part right here okay you see this part you see we okay to to remove it to remove like to have the dust selection we are going to select alt tool the left alt and then you can see the minus sign appears we need this selected okay now the thing which is not selected is this white patch in between we will select we'll get to that in a bit first we need this and to be honest i think so this is a part of it we're gonna select that as well we're gonna have to select this select this <coughs> okay looks like we're done with this at least and i am not going to select this lace so we'll just click on alt go here and just you know okay so we selected we unselected this much part now we'll just have to do this and okay now we can go to the polygonal lasso tool we can do it with the magnetic lasso as well i choose the polygonal lasso here because there is not much of a color difference as you can see this is the same white as this you know so the magnetic tool might get a bit of you know might give us a problem so let's just go ahead and we'll zoom in 
and select this I'm going to easily do this the problem with polygon and lasso tool is that you know it doesn't allow you to cur curve it so what we can also do for this is you know we can use the pen tool and then you know curve as we want and then make that selection and the make that you know what we select the selection we made with the pen tool into a selection that is one way to go but i don't think so we need so much detail over here i'm just going to select this and you know we just do the same thing over here we can actually just go ahead and do it this much okay now we just need to select this and looks really well to me okay you can just you know and select this okay and i think so we are done okay this looks good to me right now i think we have selected everything now we're just going to you know we can do now is i'll show you we'll just right click and uh select this layer layer we are copy what that does basically is creates a new it creates a new layer by just copying it so we have this and we have a same layer above this and now what we we do need is a nike logo so we'll just go nike logo hd png and let's just get a logo from here something that's you know free and we can use as well yeah we'll have we will have to check about you know if it's like does it have the is it free or not so let's just go on the website and we can check okay so i do think that it's going to be a free right so we'll just download it okay once that is done we can just minimize this and what we need now is we just need to add the logo now we'll just open the folder it was on we'll take get this here and just open it this logo should be somewhere here Okay, doesn't seem like it's here so we'll just have to maybe just show more options and extract the here where is it okay. inside we've got the transparent logo let's go okay so this is the logo we need we're just going to scale this you you remember you can press alt and then scale it so it will be on its position if you don't press alt it'll go here but with alt it stays on the center Okay, the logo seems nice to me we are going to the the position of this logo should be in between these two layers so something like this yes is this okay and to maybe just to do the style like to copy the shoe style we just going to we'll just go here and select it Okay, so we'll just go here and then we can just first of all we'll rasterize this layer and once that is done you can just flip the logo and then we just again press ctrl t and rotate it right so even this looks good to me to be honest but i'm gonna be honest with you this looks nice how is the nike logo we'll just check it out once again Okay, so it tests this way, so it's okay if we keep it like this. Okay, we'll just lock this layer, so you know it doesn't move anywhere. Same we can do to this layer as well. We don't want these two layers to move anyways. So now we can just select this, you know, scale it up again, something to here. Okay, so this looks okay to me. Now, in order to get this color, the color this way, which one, the one we want right now. We can maybe add a rectangle here. Okay, so that doesn't work. I'll just delete this layer. What we can do the other way is that we can just go to effects and add a color overlay. And what we were going to do initially was create a rectangle and make it a color block. But we can just do it this way. We'll select there. And now if you see wherever I go, this eyedropper tool appears. I can just select this. 
okay so that looks nice i think yeah that does look nice to be honest and what we want now is that we're going to do the fill zero oh, okay so firstly we will have to you know rasterize the layer style once that is done now you can see the image is not black color anymore that is the color which we gave it if we go to the fill and make it a zero you see it disappears now what we do is okay why don't i explain you with the full feel so we'll just go to effects add a stroke see the stroke should be of a nice size you know something like as you can see we can see the black outline over here what the normally the position is of is sometimes outside or something what we need to do is we need to set it to inside so you know we get these sharp edges or if we do it outside you can see we get those curves we don't want that center also works but it is again curve plus sharp we want the inside one select the select it this way select something for now i'm going to have something like maybe a hundred i guess is that too big so we'll just select this and make this like maybe 35 okay so 35 looks cool you know i have to select the color again we're going to select the same color which we did and now if we change the fill to zero you can see we've got ourselves a border there are other ways to do this this i think is the simplest way and as you can see we've got the nike logo now what we need next is just a stack just a text okay so now with everything done I think so this looks good enough and the slogan for Nike is just do it yeah, of course I know for this one like this is a huge company most people already know this so but if it's uh, something else you can just search it up to Google or if it's a potential client you can ask them and we just now select the text tool shortcut is T and type here just do it Okay, I don't I don't want this font. Obviously, we're not going to be selecting this font. Let me just scale it, but so that you know we can see it properly. Over here, we just change the font to something like I think this font looks good. It's Pavelt. You can download it from the fonts. I will link it in the description. This looks good to me. Okay, so yeah, I think so. This is nice. The font really. No, looks nice okay so i like how the font is we are going to do one thing to this is that we're going to change its color obviously to again this color okay you see does not look quite so good with this color it's not that bright of a color i think but then you see we can just maybe change this color to this one i guess but it does not match the font then Yes, it does not match the white. I'm sorry, not the font, the white. So now what we can do is we will just control J. So that's a copy of this. You can see it's a copy. We will change the fill to zero. We'll give it an effect and a stroke effect. Of course, this one is not supposed to be this dark. We will change the color to white. And it's not inside. It is outside. This time we change it to outside. Remember to do that and change the font size to something like maybe 9. Okay, no, we need a bit more. So maybe 11 works. Now we'll just press shift and the right arrow key. As you can see, that looks nice. Okay, and go here and just shift and left arrow key. So now it's a bit, it should be a bit more centered. And now we'll just take this to the left as well. A bit more. I think so, that looks good. Okay, I think so this looks good okay so thanks for watching hope you like this video and if you like it consider liking the video subscribing it and sharing I will be back with more content soon adios